Fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. Incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. How do you answer the workbook? First, watch the explanations video. Then, answer three pages of the workbook by yourself. Finally, check the answers and see the correction. Enter a change to workbook, fourth edition. Units, six to 10. Unit six, workbook answers. Okay, no problem. Exercise one, answers will vary. Possible answers, different answers. Two, please put the dishes away. Okay, I'll put them away. 3. Hang up the towels. Hang up the towels. Okay, I'll hang them up. I'll hang them up. 4. Turn off the lights, please. Sure, I'll turn them off. 5. Turn on the radio. Sure, I'll turn it on. Exercise number 2. A. 2. Hang up, let out, pack up, put on or put away, five, put on or put away, British, put on, put away, American, put on, put away, six, take off, seven, take out, eight, throw out or throw away. 9. Turn down. 10. Turn up or turn up. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. Hang up your jacket. It's on the floor. 3. To count the trash. It smells bad. 4. Turn up the radio. Turn up the radio, please. I can't hear it. 5. Pick up this box. They shouldn't be on the floor. 3. 2. To count the trash. 3. Turn down the TV. 4. Pick up your things. 5. Put away your clothes. 6. Turn on the radio. Exercise 4. A. 2. Please, put the groceries away. The milk is getting warm. 3. Take your shoes off. They're dirty. 4. Clean up the kitchen. Please, it's a mess. 5. Turn down the music. It's too loud. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. In a few minutes, I am busy right now. I am busy right now. 3. I'm not staying long. 4. I'm doing my homework right now. I'm doing. I can make the G silent. I'm doing my homework right now. Or, I'm doing. I'm doing my homework right now. 5. I don't think it's too loud. Exercise number 5. A. Make a list of chores or play ch or pay children to get them to do chores. B. 1. Because both wives and husbands often have full-time jobs. 2. Because children can learn to take responsibility for the mess they make. 3. 
Young children can do easy jobs. For example, they can help with the laundry by separating dark colored and light colored clothes. 4. Some people say that paying young people helps them to learn how to manage money. Other people say it's wrong to pay family member to help with chores. Exercise 6. 2. Would you mind taking this form to the, to the office? 3. Could you please turn the television down? 4. Would you mind not leaving wet towels on the floor? 5. Would you text me today's homework assignment? 6. Can you pass me that box, please? Would you mind helping me? B. Sorry, I can't right now. Sorry, I can't right now. 3. Excuse me, but you're sitting in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. 4. Would you like to come in? All oh, right, thanks. 5. Would you mind not leaving your dirty clothes on the floor? Or, oh, all right. I'll put them away. I'll put them away, and I can say I'll put them. I'll put them away. 6. Can you hand me the remote control? No problem. No problem. American, no problem. Exercise number 8. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. Steven, you're late. I've been here for half an hour. I'm sorry. My watch stopped. 3. Could you turn the television down? I'm trying to study and the noise is bothering me. I'm sorry. I'll watch this movie later. Later? Not now. T softly and R as er. Later. You didn't take out the garbage this morning. Oh, sorry. I was in a hurry and I forgot. 5. I brought this laptop last week, but it's still not working right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll fix it for free this time. 6. Could you do something about your dog? It barks all night and keeps me awake. I didn't realize that. It won't happen again. 7. Will you mind moving your car? You're parked in my parking space. I'll move it right now. I'll move it right now. 8. Please, put away your papers. You left them on your desk yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about them. Exercise number 9. 1. Throw this empty bottle away. Put them in the recycling bin. 1. Recycling bin. 2. Would you mind picking up some groceries? We need coffee, milk, and rice. 2. Groceries. 3. Turn the faucet off. Water costs money. 4. My neighbor made a promise. He said, I'll be sure to stop my dog from barking. I'll be sure to stop my dog from barking. 4. Promise. Exercise 10. A. Not criticize my friends. 3. Mail these bells. 4. Not talk so loudly. 5. Put away the groceries. 6. Take off your sunglasses. 7. Turn down the television. 8. Clean up your bedroom. B. Exercise 10B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. Would you mind not criticizing my friends? 3. Can you mail these pills? Can you mail these pills? Can you mail these pills? 4. Would you please not talk so loudly? 5. Could you put away the groceries? 6. Can you take off your sunglasses? 7. 
Would you mind turning down the TV? 8. Would you mind cleaning up your, your bedroom? Exercise number 11. Answers will vary. 2. My roommates are often noisy late at night. I wish they would be quiet. 3. My roommate Lucy always opens the window in the winter. I wish she wouldn't open it. 4. My friend Joe is always asking me for money. I wish he would ask someone else. 5. My cousin Carol ignores my texts. I wish she would reply of the to them. I wish you would reply to them. Unit 7. What's this for? Exercise 1. 2. A robot. A robot is used for doing boring jobs. 3. A satellite is used for transmitting radio and television programs. Satellite. T of the British satellite. Transmitting, T of the transmitting, British transmitting. Four, flash drive is used for storing and transmitting data, transmitting data, or British data. Five, a GPS, a GPS device is used for determining your exact location. A GPS device is used for determining. Your exact location. Exercise number two. True. And before player videos. An MB4 player is used to play videos. Three. Satellites. Weather. Satellites are used to study the weather. Satellites are used to study the weather. Four. Videos. Video camera. A video camera is used to make videos. 5. The Internet Also in American we say the Internet. Internet, Internet, Information. The Internet is used to find information. Exercise 3. 2. Computers are used to download music. British computers. American? Computers, T of the and R as error. Computer, computers, computers. Three, satellites are used for transmitting radio programs. Three, satellites are used for transmitting radio programs. Four, home computers are used to pay pals. Five, external hard drives are used for backing up data. Six. Airport scanners are used to find dangerous items. Items, American, British items. Exercise 4. 2. People used to write letters, but nowadays, the usual send emails instead. 3. A cell phone is used to make calls and send texts. 4. I used to have a desktop computer. But now, I just use a laptop. 5. We download all of our movies. We used to buy DVDs, but not anymore. 6. Wi-Fi networks are used to access the Internet wirelessly. Wi-Fi networks are used to access the Internet, are used to access the Internet wirelessly. Access a noun, but verb access. Exercise number five. A, A and E. B, one. A, B, E. Two, C, D. Three, A, B. Four, B, E. Five, C, D. Exercise number six. E. Answer sites, H, blogs, F, dating sites, G, gaming sites, I, media sharing sites, A, news sites, C, search engines, 
B. Social networking sites. D. Wiki sites. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. I use blogs to post online diaries. Or, I use blogs for posting online diaries. 3. I use dating sites to find a partner. Or, I use dating sites for finding a partner. 4. I use gaming sites to play online games. Or, I use gaming sites for playing online games. 5. I use media sharing sites to upload videos, to upload videos and music. Or, I use media sharing sites for uploading, for uploading videos and music. 6. I use news sites to find out what's happening in the world. Or, I use news sites for finding out what's happening in the world. 7. I use search engine sites to find information on the internet. Or I use search engine sites for finding information on the internet. 8. I use social networking sites to share information and photos with friends. Or I use social networking sites for sharing information and photos with friends. 9. I use wiki sites. <coughs> I use wiki sites to write and edit web pages or I use wiki sites for writing and editing web pages. Exercise number 7 3, 1, 4, 5, 2 1. First of all, join a social networking site. Choose a site where you already know people. 2. Then Customize your profile page. For example, play with the colors to make the page reflect your personality. Now you're ready to start exploring. 3. Next, check what the site has to offer you. Don't worry if you can't understand all its functions. 4. After that, use the site search features to find friends. Be sure to browse be sure to browse through groups who share your interests. 5. Finally, invite people to be your friend. Try not to be shy. Lots of people may be waiting to hear from you. Exercise number 8. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. Try to move to a different location. 3. Be sure to back up. Be sure to back up your files regularly. Be sure to back up your files regularly. 4. Try not to throw paper into the garbage. 5. Remember to close the scanner lid. 6. Don't forget to get gas. Exercise number 9. My brother just bought a a smartphone. It's really great. It has a. It has a lot of high tech features. In fact, it's an. It's an amazing handheld computer. Not just a. Not just a cell phone. For example, it has Wi Fi connectivity. So my brother can connect the internet in most places. He can send a. He can send a message to friend by email or through a or through a social networking site he can also find out where he is because it has a a gps app that's perfect for my brother because he likes mountain climbing he'll never get lost again his smartphone also has an an excellent camera so he can take photos of his climbing trips climbing be silent and of course, it's a phone. A. Ah. So, he can talk to his girlfriend anytime he wants. Exercise number 10. 2. It's very fragile. 3. Unplug it. And plug it. 4. Don't spill anything in it. Don't spill the rings in it. 5. Recharge the battery. 
recharge the battery. T of D, better and R is your battery. Exercise 11. Why not? I couldn't get a Wi-Fi signal. After that, I tried to use the vacuum cleaner. So A, I couldn't get a Wi-Fi signal. Let me guess. It didn't pick up the dirt. It didn't pick up the dirt. Worse. It spread dirt around the room. It spread dirt around the room. Did you have your robot help? Well, I tried to get it to clean the outside windows. But it refused. I don't blame it. You live on the, you live on the 50th floors. Unit 8 Interchange to Workbook Unit 8 Let's Celebrate Exercise 1 One of the most important national holidays in the United States is Independence Day. This is the day when Americans celebrate winning their independence from Britain almost. 250 years ago. There are many customs for Independence Day. Most towns, big and small, mark this holiday with parades and fireworks. They decorate with lots of streamers, usually in red, white, and blue, the colors of the U.S. flag. Bands play patriotic. Bands play patriotic music. It's also a day when many Americans have family get-togethers. Families celebrate with a barbecue or a picnic. So exercise one answers. Holidays, celebrate. Customs, customs, habits. Fireworks, streamers, music, get-togethers, picnic. Exercise 2. 1. I hit April 15th. In the United States, it's the day when people have to pay their taxes. I always owe. I always owe the government money. 2. June is my favorite month. It's the month when summer vacation begins. I always head straight for the beach. 3. September is my least favorite month. It's the month when school starts. Goodbye, summer. 4. I have never liked winter. It's a season when I feel sad and depressed. The cold weather always affects my mood negatively. Negatively. T soft D. Exercise number 3. One, Turkey. Two, decorations. Three, fireworks. Four, summer. Five, tricks. Six, party. Seven. Anniversary. 8. Honor 9. Wedding 10. Graves 11. Presents 12. Seasons 13. Cards 14. Parade 15. Flowers 16. Harvest, harvest. Exercise 4. A. Answers will vary. B. Americans give each other gifts on. 
Americans don't give gifts on Martin Luther King's GR Day Americans do not give gifts President's Day Americans don't give gifts April Fool's Day Americans don't give gifts Earth Day Americans don't give gifts Mother's Day Americans give each other gifts Father's Day Americans give each other gifts Independence Day Americans don't give gifts Labor Day Americans don't give gifts Exercise 5 Answers will vary Exercise 6 Newly married couples often live on their honeymoon before the wedding reception ends before the wedding reception ends when they go on their honeymoon most couples like to be alone most couples like to be alone after they come back from their honeymoon many newlyweds have to live with relatives they can only live in their own place when they have enough money to pay for it exercise six answers before the wedding reception ends most couples like to be alone many newlyweds have to live with relatives when they have enough money to pay for it exercise seven answers will vary possible answer In my country, before a man and woman get married, they usually get engaged. Sometimes the man gives his fiance an engagement an engagement ring. An engagement ring. After they get engaged, the couple plan their wedding. Most couples get married in a church. The bride's family and friends sit on one side of the church, and the groom's family and friends sit on the other side after the wedding ceremony ends everyone goes to the reception it's a time when people make speeches about the couple and give them gifts then the couple leaves for their honeymoon exercise number eight one Wedding celebrations are often held in restaurant or hotel. G. Children's Day is the day when people in many countries honor their children. Honor. 3. Fall is the season when North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. 4. In Indonesia, on the EP day, Balinese people observe a day of silence to begin the new year. Exercise 8 answers, celebrations, honor, season, observe. Exercise number 9, 2. New Year's Eve is the night when many people have parties. 3. At the end of the year, Japanese people exchange Usipo, Usipo presents to show their appreciation for the people in their lives. 4. In June, many Brazilians celebrate the Festa Junina. 5. In Sweden, Midsummer's Day occurs around June 21st. Exercise number 10. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. What happens at midnight? 3. Do you serve any special food or drink? 4. Are we gonna? Are we gonna sing and dance? Are we going to sing and dance? American going to Ghana. Are we gonna sing and dance? 5. What clothes should I wear? 6. Are there going to be any fireworks? Are there going to be any fireworks? Unit 9. Times have changed. Exercise 1. 
answers will vary, possible answer. In many countries nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. In the past, people used to go to different shop for each type of item. For example, you bought or another answer, you used to buy. You bought, used to buy, meat at butcher's shop and fish at fish market. A fruit market sold, used to sell or used to sell fruits and vegetables. For dry goods like rice or beans, you had to go to grocery stores. Today, the supermarket or superstore sells all these things. Once every week or two, people drive in their cars to these huge stores to buy everything. Not only food, but also clothes, electronic goods, furniture, and medicine. But in the future, the way we shop will change again. Nowadays, many people, many people have a computer at home. Soon, maybe no one will leave home to go shopping. Everyone will use their computers to order everything online. Exercise 1 answers. Used to go. Bought. Used to buy. Sold. Used to sell. Had. Sells. Drive. Will change. Have. Will leave. Will use. Exercise number two. One. When did people travel by horse and carriage? About 100 years ago. About. Stress on bath sound? About 100 years ago. Two. When might doctors find a cure for the flu? In the next 50 years. In the next 50 years. Three. When did the first man go to the moon? When did the first man go to the moon? More than 40 years ago. 40? American, British, 40. More than 40 years ago. 4. When is everyone going to have a computer at home? Soon. Exercise number 3. Answers will vary. Different answers. 2. In the past. People used to collect records. Nowadays, they download music. 3. A few years ago, most people had desktops. Today, many people have tablets. 5. 4. A century or, mo or, or more ago, a century or more ago, women wore long dresses. These days, they wear short skirts. 5. Nowadays, Apartment buildings often have 20 floors. Sometime in the future, they might have 250 floors. Exercise number 4 A. Fossil fuels cause pollution. Energy from wind the Netherlands and Denmark. Energy from water. Loves. Energy from the airs. Iceland. Energy from the sun. Algeria and Libya. Energy from living organisms. Brazil. B. Advantage, disadvantage. Wind power, clean, lots of it. Disadvantage, no energy without wind. Water power. Advantage, no pollution. Disadvantage, expensive. Geothermal power, advantage, cheap. Disadvantage, not possible in most places. Solar power. Solar related to the sun. Advantage, a lot of it. Disadvantage, expensive to export.
expensive to export. Biofuels, advantage, renewable, 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 disadvantage, uses farmland. Exercise number five, one. What if I get in shape this summer? You might be able to come rock climbing with me. Two. What will happen if I stop exercising? Well, you might get wet. Three. What if I get a better job? You'll be able to buy some new clothes. You'll be able to buy some new clothes. Four. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? You probably won't have enough money for your school expenses. Exercise 6 A. Feel energetic, relaxed, get married, a cold, lose money, wait. Quit exercising, quit working. B. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. If I feel relaxed, I might sleep better. If I get married, I will have to save money. 4. If I quit working, I run out of money. I run out of money really quickly. 5. If I lose weight, I'll buy new clothes. I'll buy new clothes. Exercise 7. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. I'll feel healthier if I eat better food. 3. If I get more exercise, I might have more energy. 4. If I don't get good grades in school, if I don't get good grades in school, I won't be able to get a good job. 5. I might get more sleep if I go to bed earlier. 6. I'll be happy if I graduate this summer. Exercise number eight. Noun, adjective. Energy, energetic. Energetic, British, American, energetic. Environment, environmental. Health, healthy. Medicine, medical. Success, successful. B. Exercise eight, B. Two. There are a lot of environmental problems in my country. There is too much air pollution and the rivers are dirty. 3. My health is not as good as, as it used to be, so I've decided to eat better food and go swimming every day. 4. My party was a great success. I think I might have another one soon. 5. If I start exercising more often, I might have more energy. Exercise number 9. If I go on a diet, I may be able to lose weight. 3. In the future, few people will use cash to buy things. 4. If I get a better job, I'll be able to buy an apartment. 5. There will be a big new mall downtown next year. Exercise number 10. Answers will vary. Possible answer. I used to live in a very quiet place. My parents' house was in a small village. There was only one store and very little traffic. Now, I live in a big city. My job is pretty boring. Pretty, rather. My job is pretty boring. I work in a small company. If my English improves, I may be able to get a job in an international company. International, British, American, international. International, British, and American, we say international and also international in an international company. I'd like to travel around the world. Next year, I'm going to take a course in English. 
I might go on vacation to the United States and Canada. Then, my English will be very good and I'll try to get a new job there. Unit 10. I hate working on weekends. Exercise 1. I enjoy working in sales. So do I. 2. I like working the night shift. Gee, I don't. 3. I can stand getting to work late. Neither can I. 4. I'm interested in using my language skills. So am I. Exercise 2. Ichiro is a novelist. He writes all his books by hand because he hates using a computer. Gwen usually works alone all day, but she enjoys working with the team too. Ellen works for a large company, but she's interested in starting her own business. 5. Carlos has to use Portuguese and Japanese at work, but he's not very good at, le at learning languages. But he's not very good at learning languages. 6. Cindy. Cindy has to drive to work every day, but she doesn't like commuting. Commuting, commuting. Exercise 3. 2. I'm not good at making decisions quickly. 3. I can't stand making mistakes. 4. I enjoy working with the team. Exercise 4. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. I can't stand working late on Fridays. 3. I don't mind starting work early in the morning. 4. I'm interested in jogging and hiking. Jogging and hiking. 5. I'm not interested in staying home. 6. I'm good at cooking for a large group of people. 7. I'm not very good at making new friends. Exercise number 5. 1. Sam hates waiting in line. He's a very impatient person. Impatient. 2. You can trust Rosa. If she says she's gonna do something, she'll do it. She's very reliable. Reliable. 3. Joe is not good at remembering things. Last week, he missed another important business meeting. He missed another important business meeting. He's so forgetful. 3. Forgetful. Exercise number 6. A. 1. Journalist. 2. Stock broker. 3. Truck driver. 4. Flight attendant. B1. Computers. Worldly news. Pressure. 2. Good with numbers. Handling other people's money. 3. A special license. Punctual and reliable. Punctual and reliable. Enjoys traveling. 4. Communicating with people. Foreign languages. Traveling abroad. Foreign. G silent. C. Answers will vary. Exercise 7. Answers will vary. Possible answers. 2. Anita could be a good carpenter because she likes doing things with her hands and enjoys working with wood. She couldn't be a factory worker because she doesn't enjoy working in the same place every day and hates being in noisy places. 3. Allison would make a good model because she's really interested in meeting people and enjoys wearing different clothes every day. She would make a bad lawyer because she's not good at organizing her time and she can't stand computers. 4. Young Hu Young Hu could be a salesperson because he's really good at selling things and loves helping people. He wouldn't make a good detective 
Because he's not good at solving problems. Because, cause. In American also say cause. Because he's not good at solving problems. Five. Kevin would make a good nurse because he's good at taking care of people and doesn't mind working evenings and weekends. He wouldn't want to be an accountant. He wouldn't want to be an accountant because he doesn't like sitting in an office all day and he's not good with numbers. Exercise number eight. One. Jerry could never be a a nurse or teacher because he's very short-tempered and impatient with people. On the other hand, he's an efficient and reliable person, and efficient. So, he would make a good bookkeeper or accountant. A good bookkeeper, a bookkeeper, a good bookkeeper. Two, Mark would make a terrible lawyer or executive or executive. Mark would be a terrible lawyer or, exec or executive. Mark would be a terrible lawyer or executive. He's not good at making decisions. On the other hand, he'd make an excellent actor or artist. Cause he's very creative and funny. Because, cause. An excellent actor. A terrible lawyer. A good bookkeeper. An efficient. A nurse. Exercise nine. A. 2. Friendly, unfriendly, hardworking, lazy, interesting, boring, level-headed, moody, patient, impatient, quiet, outgoing, reliable, forgetful. B. 1. Suyen is an outgoing person, outgoing. She really enjoys meeting new people. 2. Beck is very moody. One day she's happy and the next day she's sad. Moody. 3. I can't stand working with forgetful people. Forgetful. I like having reliable co-workers. 4. Flip. Philip is an interesting person. Philip is an interesting person. I am never bored when I talk to him. Exercise number 10. 1. Disorganized. 2. Impatient. 3. Generous. 4. Tempered. 5. Reliable. 6. Level. 7. Creative. 8. Efficient. 9. Critical. 10. 10. Punctual. Punctual. 11. Forgetful. 12. Strange. Strange. 13. Working. That's the end of unit 10. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.